Hello, my name is Brendan Fairclough, and this is the Geeky Bike Check with MBR. So we'll start with the uh, front of my bike and the reason why I have this bike and not my downhill bike because uh, um, main reason, living in the south of England, as you can probably see, there's not too many big mountains and everything, so uh, race bike is mainly left on the truck. Second reason is I can't be trusted with taking my race bike home because uh, I've got a lot of friends that fiddle around and steal parts off my bike, so my mechanic, Big Ben, will not let me take it home. But uh, main reason is this is a more fun bike for where I live and uh, as you can see, pretty awesome looking bike and, and perfect for where we, where we live. We'll start at the front. This is, a, this is actually a large uh, Scott Genius LT 2015 edition. Um, we're working with 170mm at the back and 170 at the front. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot for, for where we live. but. Um, what a fun bike and it climbs like a short travel bike, descends like a downhill bike so it's kind of all I need really around here. Got some of these uh, big overbuilt um, Fox 36s on the front which generally I don't really use all travel, it's normally about to there because I like to run my stuff quite hard and um, so I can feel what's going on. Um, then we, we're on a, a US brand called Deity, so with Deity bar and stem, a nice short stem at the front. So get over the front a lot. Similar sort of length to my downhill bike as well. So I like like the cockpit to feel pretty similar to my downhill bike, and um, and that helps a lot. Um, also got these very flashy new in DMR death grips. They're a signature um, grip that I've been working on closely with my friend Ollie Wilkins at DMR. As you can see, have a look around. They're very interesting. We've got some. Uh, a grip for the brave written in the end. We've got my name stamped under here. But more importantly, we've got um, a nice waffle effect here for so you don't get calluses when you're riding big long tracks. Grippy feel for the top in your glove and a nice bit of extra grip for you at the bottom and a uh, nice soft end. Um, okay, I bored you enough with uh, my signature grip. I'll move on to my signature DMR pedal. Now I'll be quick with this one. It's, uh, it's not new, it's been out for a couple of years, but um, Another, another thing I'll be working on with DMR and I'm pretty excited about it, but yeah, everyone knows about that. It's a, it's a good little, and I, and I run flats as well, obviously, on all my bikes, apart from my road bike, which uh, I run clips, but I won't tell you too much about road bikes. Um, we move back to the back end and we're luckily hooked up with the new um, XTR 11 speed, which is um, pretty amazing. I don't, as I say, I don't really need all these gears as we don't live in the Alps. But um, it's good to have them just in case on those days when you're uh, feeling a bit rough and you have to keep up with some strong, strong guys. And single, single chain ring, no chain device on there. We're just testing that out, see how that um, performs. So far, so good. So that's good. This bike comes set up with the uh, Float X. And normally you have the twin lock system with Scott where you have a, a flashy button on your handlebars where you can... You have three different settings. You have climb, trail, and descend mode. I prefer the more simple, uh, slick look without all the, all the cables floating around. So I take that off and I just change it with the simple button here that you can just press with your finger. Just a cleaner, cleaner, nice look. Okay, moving on, along with my XTR uh, grip set, uh, we've got the XTR brakes as well. Amazing, super light and um, working working pretty well so far. I love the feel of this lever. It doesn't have the, the same cam in there as, as my Saint downhill brakes, which uh, is a weird feeling. But uh, yeah, I prefer this, a very smooth action. Yeah, big fan, big fan of this lever for sure. Um, we'll move on to the tyres. And as you can see, I don't have the Schwalbe Pro Course system in the front one, as I have a flat. I must have... Uh, nose bonked a big step down or something or other. Definitely not, definitely not a snake bite or lack of um, use. But yeah, so I've got the Schwalbe Nobby Nicks on there and Trail Star Compound. And that's my Scott Genius LT that I ride for most of the year. It's pretty much my most used bike. Um, even though I'm a downhill rider and racer, this is the bike that gets used the most. And yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.